we're looking at an ultra premium airsoft gun in this episode of the Gear Guide. So you may know Umbrella Armory is a high-end tech upgrade company. They got their start in Southern California, and that's where they still are today, out in Chino. They've moved on from that. They're still doing the repairing and the upgrading, but now they're getting into manufacturing premium line guns with their own branding on them from the ground up with components of their choosing. Now, these aren't just random components that are picked out of the air. These are ones that have been tried and tested to work together perfectly to give you one of the best AEG experiences on the planet. Now, they do come in a couple different flavors. We're looking at the Alpha line. Now, you can get a more of a moderate affordable line, which is still a premium line. So think Porsche. We're looking at the Lamborghini or the Bugatti Veyron here of Airsoft Guns. It's their Alpha line. Now, there are two different versions of that as well. The CQBR, which is designed for up close and personal battles, and then a DMR version as well to really reach out and touch your enemy from a long distance. Now, since the OCAW line is custom built, you can pretty much have it any way you want. Obviously, with the CQBR here, we're looking at something a little shorter. So on mine here for the review, I opted actually for two different uppers. This is actually the longer of the two uppers with a Nemeski rail and a little mini suppressor on the end just to add a little more length to hide that inner barrel. Also, a shorter upper to give you a little more compactness for those tighter spaces, but there's more than just use for that. This also changes the FPS, but we're going to get to the FPS difference between those two uppers later on in this review when we talk about the chrono test. Now externally, of course, like I said, the rail is up to you. So in this one, this rail's on it, but you can put whatever rail you want. That's the best part about working with Umbrella. Everything is custom and to your specs. So externally, you can do whatever you like with the rail system, stock, and things like that. Now moving on to the body, they do have their own custom body with the OCAW logo on one side, the Umbrella Armory logo on the other. Of course, made in Chino, California in America. And then of course, on the fire selector, they wouldn't be just happy with the normal safe semi and full. They have to go from oppression, revolution, and freedom them marking safe semi and auto respectively. And it's also those little touches. You're looking at fire selector or CNC machine metal as well as the trigger. And the grip is of course an umbrella armory grip, although not theirs. It's the licensed umbrella armory grip from Mad Bull. Now moving on with the receiver here, I added some sights on mine, optics, iron sights, but you can put whatever you want on there. And I'm sure those guys can probably hook you up with some if you're looking to complete your loadout directly from them. And then moving to the back, you have the stock, which is the Mission First Tactical stock. They're really fond of this stock and I like it too. It fits those small peck type batteries right back in here perfectly. Nice little hole for the Dean's connectors to move through, which of course comes by default on this gun because it is a premium gun. And you can get that battery in there just perfectly to wire it to the rear. And to run everything out, it's all about those details. They do have an ambi mag release, so you can actually, if you're lefty or righty, you're good to go there. And then a butterfly charging handle, even though it's just used to pull back the dust cover to get to your hop up, it doesn't matter. It's still those little tiny details that add to the premium level of this gun. But enough about the looks, it's all about the performance, and that's where this gun sings. I mean, I'm telling you, everybody I put this gun in their hands freaked out about the trigger response. I mean, just give this thing a couple trigger pulls and it's good to go. And all of that is powered for their internals with Siege Tech gears, totally upgraded internals under the hood, even a CNC mech box, the actual shell itself. They spared absolutely no expense on the Alpha line to get their performance you're looking for. And of course, with that is that amazing, like impossible to put into words feeling you get when you barely touch the trigger. It goes back a fraction of an inch. I mean, like just a couple millimeters and the gun goes off. And that's thanks to those parts plus the Black Talon Concepts Chimera MOSFET that actually runs the brains of this. So if you guys are in a field that doesn't allow high rate of fire, kind of like where I play a lot of, you can pin this thing to semi, two round burst, you can do semi and semi, or if you want to let it fly, you can do semi and full auto and let this thing become a BB hose. Taken out to the chrono and of course on the field as well, saw different FPSs on the different uppers and that was part of the design. For playing outside more field use, I opted for the longer upper which came in around uh, 350 feet per second with a .20 gram BB, but you can switch the shorter upper in and get about 325 to 330 FPS out of it. So you do have both of those options depending on where you play. So if you're really playing tight indoors, you wanna keep that FPS way below 350, you can do it. If you wanna step it up for outdoor play, you can do it as well with the longer upper on this version. 
So guys, if you are looking for the premium airsoft gun and you have a pretty much infinite budget, definitely check out the OCAW lineup, the CQBR or the DMR option called the Alpha Line from Umbrella Armories. And you can pick these things up starting at right under $1,000 and going up from there, depending on your options at Umbrella Armories website right here. So guys, what do you think? I have been waiting for stuff like this to hit airsoft and it has. There's actually a few different companies going with the boutique premium airsoft gun and umbrella obviously being one of the most well known. So is it been long overdue? Kind of like the computer industry, they have the really high end computers you can buy that cost thousands of dollars but are insane performance for high end gaming. That's happening over an airsoft. Do you think this is something that's gonna continue with these super high end custom guns? Or do you think it's kind of just the rich guy's game? I'm curious to know your thoughts. I know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I need to swipe one of these, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Well guys, that's it for this episode of the Gear Guide. I'll be back in the next one where I review an opposite of an ultra premium gun. It's the non-premium gun. It's actually carved from a block of wood and held together by string.